What's up party animals? Welcome back to Party On Forever. I'm Andy, and this is another episode of Choppers for Dummies. Here at Party On Forever, Choppers for Dummies, no job is too big or too small. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm in here and I do some work and I don't uh, video it just because I think it's too stupid or too small of a job to put up on the internet. And I've been thinking, man, I remember the very few first things I did trying to work on a bike, and it was me home alone trying to figure it out by myself, and I was YouTube and stuff, and so really the smallest job ever that might just be like a laugh to some of you guys <laughs> is a big thing to other guys that are just getting started out. You know, there's no shame, there's no um, laughter or judgment on my end. I'm still learning daily. Uh, I put out this YouTube channel like I know what I'm doing, but I don't, I have no clue what's going on. I just make it up as I go. But anyway, with all that being said, Choppers for Dummies is back and we're just gonna keep rolling with more and more uh, how-to tech videos. We could debate all day long what a chopper is and that a lot of this stuff that I'm talking about isn't uh, so much choppering, you know, because we're not doing a bunch of fabrication on frames and building choppers. It doesn't matter, dude, it's just words. Choppering is a state of mind, and uh, if you're here and you're a punk and you're trying to learn some things, this is the place for you to be. <laughs> this is my wife Rachel's 1998 Harley Davidson Sportster. I've posted a video about this bike before and I'll link it above, uh, but this bike's a tank, we don't really have to work on it ever because it just works and she likes it. And um, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But a couple days ago, she's leaving the house and she's got her choke pulled out to start the bike. And uh, she told me that she kicked the choke and broke it. Uh, I don't know what she was doing or what she meant by that. I'm thinking maybe she was trying to pull like a Bruce Lee move and uh, kick the choke back in or something. But she broke it, so now the choke is not staying, uh, you know, engaged when you want to start the bike up. And I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with this, but uh, once the choke cables start going bad and they won't stay out, and you have to stand there and hold the choke lever out while it's warming up, it's not a good time. If you need a new choke cable, whether it's broken or whether it's just getting loose and it's not staying pulled out when you start your bike, um, it's an easy, quick fix. Uh, it's probably like a $10 part. I can't even remember what I paid. Might have been 15 bucks. It's gonna be linked below. Hit that link. Um, and you know, it's, it's like a 10 minute job. So, let's do it. So this is what we're dealing with right here. It's got a zip tie on there just to hold it in place. But basically what happened is when she karate chopped this thing, um, it broke the plastic threads that hold this thing on, broke them in half, and it's not gonna allow it to uh, tighten up and it won't stay out. So we're gonna pull that thing off, put a new one on. So you're gonna wanna take this uh, gas line off the petcock. If you're a smart guy, you got a, a hose clamp on there. I don't have a hose clamp on here because it just is tight enough and it doesn't leak. So you take your choke cable off, you take your gas line off. That's the first couple things you wanna do. Okay, everybody's got different carb and air intake setups. Um, so, you know, if you're rocking with a stock air cleaner, it's gonna be a little different than this, but it's all in theory the same. Uh, if you got a stock air cleaner that's got the ham cam on it, you're gonna pull that guy off and you're gonna be able to get to some um, nuts and bolts in here to pull the cleaner off before you can get to the carb. But this setup, all we gotta do is pull these um, breather bolts off and it's gonna allow this whole carb assembly, air cleaner and everything to come off together. And we're gonna pull this bad boy off. And then the next thing we're gonna need to do is pull the throttle cable out. Um, so, I just open that throttle assembly with my hand 
and then pull that cable out and there you go. Pretty simple. Then we just uh, pull this stuff out. Oh yeah, I forgot that we have a um, vacuum line on this carb. So pull your vacuum line off and also you'll have an overflow tube that's ran somewhere down. You know, it might be ran this way, it might be ran that way, but uh, if you didn't know what that was, it's just at the bottom of your float bowl and it's an overflow tube that allows drain, it drains gasoline out if it needs to be out. So anyway, if it overflows. So there's your carb. Um, we're gonna, basically this is your choke cable right here. It plugs in right there and we're gonna just unscrew it and put a new one in. I'll show you. I can show you the world. Okay, here we go. This is your choke cable. And uh, I actually always use um, some needle nose pliers to get in here because it is hard to get the right box wrench that you need right there. Cause it's just so tight down in there. Also, you wanna just be able to spin it. But honestly, I just broke the clutch cable doing that. So that's not a good vibe. So if you just take some needle nose pliers and you do this right here, loosen her with some needle nosies and then do the rest with my fingers. Anyway, there you go. So I'm not sure if the new one's gonna have this stuff, but um, you got a spring there. You pull the spring back to where you can get this off and then you take the spring off and that's your broken cable that you don't care about. So we'll keep that little plunger and spring because I'm sure the new one probably doesn't have one. This is our Amazon package. I'm sure that you can buy a Harley brand choke cable um, for more money than I paid for this one. Okay, quick punch in right here. Uh, you'll never guess it, but I lost some footage. Uh, I don't know what happened, but for some reason the camera locked up when I was, uh, putting the choke cable back in. So, uh, you don't really get to see me put the choke cable in the carb, which is the whole reason you're watching this video. But if you saw me take the old one out, uh, just, you know, put the new one back in. Just the same way. Uh, without breaking the cable. Uh, so anyway, carry on! Okay, so now we just put this thing back on. Put your uh, vacuum line back on. If you have a vacuum line, put your throttle back on. A lot of you guys might be rocking the double throttle cable. So um, this job is a little more annoying if you have the double throttle cable because then you're going to have to do a little bit of loosening and all this up here but if you got a single throttle cable set up you can do it the way i just did it it's pretty easy and then let's see I choke cables all hanging too low route all your uh your hoses and your cables back to the other side of the bike where they need to be. And then put this guy back in its uh, home. There is a gasket between the carb and the manifold that they say every time you take a carb on and off, you should replace that manifold gasket. And uh, that's crazy. 
uh, as long as it's in good shape and it's not leaking any air, I say you just keep running the same thing over and over. Um, that's what I'll be doing. But uh, you should check for leaks. Like once you get all this thing back together, um, if you start getting some backfiring or loss of pressure or loss of power, um, you could take some starter fluid and you could spray on the back side of the carb uh, into that seal area. And if the RPMs change and start revving up, uh, chances are you got a manifold leak. So, um, you know, pay attention to that. But I know that this manifold is in pretty good shape, this gasket. So anyway, we'll tighten these guys back up. Make sure your throttle is all working correctly. Now you come over here and you find your fuel line. You get your fuel line in place. Put your hose clamp back on it. If we had a hose clamp, then you get this guy where it goes. You tighten that nut up. I can't remember what size that is. I think it might be a 5 16. I said 5 16, I meant uh, 5 8, but it's uh, 11 16. And you gotta spin this bad boy so it'll stay out. That's a little locking plastic nut thing underneath that rubber. There you go. We have a choke cable, cable, cable on the bike. Okay, that's it. We put the choke cable back on and uh, let's start her up, see how it goes. Pull her out, give her a little twist. It's on and we push it in. Choke off. Choke on. Choke off. Choke on. Beautiful, ain't it? Anyway, that's it. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Choppers for Dummies. Please go to partyonforever.com and check out all the other things I have to offer. Think about joining the party Patreon. Check out the merch site. Pick yourself up a shirt. I'm Andy. You're cool. I love you. You love me. We're a big chopper family. Let's party.